Everybody, this is Kent Davis. I'm the managing director of Panama Equity Real Estate, and today I'm going to tell you about how to get around Panama. So, obviously, the easiest way to get around is walking. Sidewalks in general are decent but not amazing. There are a lot of brand new sidewalks thanks to our last mayor, especially in downtown Panama. So plan on being able to use a stroller and jog in a lot of different areas, but certainly not all of them. Casco Viejo, El Cangrejo, Balboa Avenue, and Via España are all very walkable. Uh, keep an eye out for cars when you're in Casco Viejo because the streets are a bit narrow. That's our historic district. And remember, cars always have the right of way in Panama. Don't go thinking that uh, if you step into a car, in front of a car, they'll slow down because <laughs> they usually won't. Uh, so keep that in mind. Pedestrians do not have the right of way in Panama. So now we can advance to public transportation. We've got the metro and we've got the bus here in the city and we've got pretty extensive bus transportation outside of the city. So if you're looking to get around the country, buses are a great option. Albrook Terminal is the main launch point from the city and from there you can get almost anywhere in the country. Now, you've got the big double-decker air-conditioned buses with sometimes internet, sometimes movie screens, really nice buses that are very cold. <laughs> so if you're planning on traveling overnight in one of these buses, make sure to a place like Bocas, for example, which is like 10 hours from the city, plan on bringing some warm clothes for that bus ride. What else can I tell you about buses? Well, you'll need a bus pass in the city. You can get those at the metro station. Those are rechargeable at a lot of different points throughout the country. Buses do not take, in the city, do not take cash. If you go to Albrook, that's where you're gonna buy your bus ticket. And if you're going to a secondary market like Oku, Sona, Alto, El Valle, you're gonna take the main bus line down the Inter-American Highway and then you're, they're going to tell you where you need to get off and take one of these secondary buses. So those are called Chivas. Those are a little smaller, a little tighter, not as many frills, super cheap. I mean, you can get around the country for under $20 anywhere. You can get anywhere in the country for under $20 on a bus. And then you can get around by taxis or you can get around by Uber. We've got Cabify. We've got Uber. We've got Lyft. We've also got those scooters. Uh, the last check, there was a scooter company. You'll see them around. Uh, they stack them up. You can download an app and rent the little electronic scooters. Taxis are very cheap in Panama. We've got a, a video on renting cars in Panama. You can check that out. Just Google it. Um, giving things like prices, tips, advice what kind of car you're gonna to wanna to get if you're renting a car, but rental cars are available and they'll run anywhere from 20 to $40 a day, depending on the vehicle and the agency. We generally recommend renting from established agencies. They're a bit more organized, a bit more consistent, a bit more better, a bit stronger at customer service. So yeah, those are the main ways. You can also do water taxis if you're in places like Bocas, San Blas, uh, Isla Grande, that's the only way to get around is water taxis, which are super fun. Uber had a helicopter support button for a while. I never used it. You can certainly get around Panama via helicopter as well if you are trying to avoid traffic, but it's the city is not big enough. It's not like Rio or Mexico City or LA where traffic is so bad and the city is so massive that urban helicopter transportation isn't a thing here yet, but you often get people taking a helicopter out to their beach properties on the weekend. So that should about round it off for how to get around Panama. If you guys like what you saw, please subscribe, give me a thumbs up, <laughs> and uh, yeah, have a great day. Ciao.